Hello everyone, welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. So, as you can see, we're getting a pretty early start this morning. Oh. Well, I should say we had a pretty early start. I already went out and got all our wool hauled to the spinnery. We got... I picked up probably about a half dozen contracts, actually, this morning. A bunch of neighbors have last-minute cotton harvest going on, so I made sure we picked all those up, so we gotta get those going here soon. We got eggs to sell. I'm pretty sure we got sorghum to sell. I haven't checked out that pricing yet, but the egg pricing was starting to drop, so I wanted to get rid of these first. But we just got a lot going on this morning for us here. Uh, looks like 14. Okay, so we just... It's still dropping yet, but I'm not going to take it to Johnson's family market just for a little bit more since we're already here. We're kind of... Kind of getting crunched on time right now, so I'll just sell them off here. I was going to check out sorghum yet this morning. So I got us four, with, the, with that better contracts mod, I actually got us four cotton harvest contracts. Yeah, it looks like our sorghum needs to go too today as well. And I ended up picking up two fertilizing contracts, so we actually got a lot going on today. And it looks like we got enough money as well to pick up that oil f oil production factory as well. So we got that going for us too. So I don't know how today's going to go yet. This might be... And if you're wondering why the cotton harvesters right here, I tried getting the AI helper to drive it down the road. And they're, they're just so incompetent in, in themselves to drive something this massive that... It just, it's just not going to work out for me to hire AI helper to drive this all around, unfortunately. So, the cotton fields we got are 12, 28. So, two of the fields we actually planted earlier in the spring for some neighbors. And then we got field 11, 11 and 8 for also this cotton. And then we got field 10 and 33. Some neighbors are looking for fertilizer for those. So, we're going to hit those up as well later on today. Because right now, after I get this up there, I'm going to get Tuttle go let Tuttle g get to work on it. I'm not going to worry about fetching the bales or anything. And we got to haul them off to we got to haul some cotton off to Johnson's family market, and then we got we got some contracts that we got to fulfill for the spinnery as well. So we'll be we got quite a bit of run around to do. Um, I'm hoping that between these couple of, these handful of fields that we'll get enough cotton dish that I won't have to worry about cotton. I won't have to worry about, ugh, excuse me, I can't speak right now, that I won't have to worry about planting co all cotton next year to re restock our spinnery completely, but I, st I still might do do one or two fields. It depends on how much we get at the end of this month for it, but right now I'm thinking this might be a two-parter just because it's going to take us a while to get this cotton harvester hauled everywhere, and we already got so much other things going on because I'm planning to go... Go to the gentleman and finally pick up that oil mill today as well, since we have the cash. And to get the sunflower oil production as well, so we'll have to transfer some sunflowers over the sunflowers over there as well. So we got we got our we got our work cut out for us today. And if we if we ended up to, doing this into a two parter, I might actually help this neighbor out as well with their hay ground. They want to do some silage this year, so before before it's over so we'll see what happens here but like I said right now I'm gonna get I'm gonna let Tuttle get to work on this stuff here Let's see if he gets going here all right there we go but we'll let him we'll let him handle most of the cotton harvesting for now he hasn't had any issues before and we're gonna we got to get the chickens fed this morning too. Yet they were starting to run low on feed as well. So we got we got a lot of minor tasks along with a lot of big contracts to do right now. So we need to we need to start getting this stuff knocked out. And I also checked on the sheep this morning, and I don't they're not quite ready to be sold yet. Another they'll probably be sold if we sell any. It'll probably be over the winter months to be honest with you. So. We'll have quite a good amount of money coming in from that. 
But right now, that's kind of the plan for today. Actually, I want to check on this as well. We're still sitting good on water, but if we get time, I might might run and do that as well. But I've been thinking, just because it's been such a hassle to always handle all the fruit we're producing anymore, I'm almost half tempted to just start selling it out outright off our farm. I know, I know we won't make near as much money as we do taking it into places, but it's just such a hassle anymore with all the stuff we have going on that I don't, I don't really want to deal deal with it. I'd rather have folks stop, just put up a sign in the driveway and let folks stop by and get what they want and sell, sell it for a little bit cheaper if I have to. I was going to say, I wonder if I'm going to be able to make it in two trips with this. I hope I can. But we're going to we're gonna get all the sorghum hauled in today. Get that sold as well. And later on we'll start working on the fertilizing contracts this episode if we have time. But like I said, right now we're going to... We're just going to drive the machine for Tuttle all, to all the fields and let him start taking care of all the cotton harvesting. And we're going to go from there for today. You know, I'm also kind of thinking, since we upgraded a combine, it might be time to upgrade some gravity wagons, or gravity wagons as well today. I mean, if we got the money, I'm kind of, I kind of got that spending niche today right now, even though I should really think about getting another piece, plot of ground since we got that combine. But we'll figure that out later, but we'll jump into time lapse here. We'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. 
can't stand Gonna cut it down With my own two hands Alright everyone, this is where we're gonna wrap up today, start wrapping up today's episode. Uh, like I kind of figured, this was gonna be a two-parter just cause we picked up so many cotton contracts, but... We... We really need, need the cotton, so it's gonna be worthwhile. I know I didn't run... I know Tuttle's been doing a good job running the cotton harvesters, so... I'm gonna let him keep doing that. We're gonna... I think we might run a little bit next episode just to break up the monotony and then I think I'll have I'll do that after we get that one field all we picked up a cult a, a cultivating contract so I'm gonna get the outside passes done then I think I'll have Tuttle run that for the rest of the day and then we'll finish knocking out the cotton but we got quite a bit done today we got quite a few fertilizing contracts knocked out we got I forgot that last episode we didn't get the spraying done like I wanted, so we got that done and we got that sprayer put away now, so we're sitting pretty good. I'm hoping that we get quite a bit of cotton out of this because I really don't want to... I really don't want to have to do cotton in it in most of our fields next year. Well, let me rephrase that. It makes sense for me to do cotton in all the fields, but obviously our barley field just so we can make the most out of when we rent our rent the cotton harvester to get our spinnery filled but the other thing i was thinking about is we got that we got that oil mill now and i'm instead of doing sorghum i'm half tempted, tempted to start doing canola but the issue is that a lot of our oh a lot of our stuff that we we can't really do a whole lot of c with canola be just because the only field we will like rotate it with is barley just because of the timing on planting because sunflowers aren't harvested till October November time frame and that kind of puts a wrench into everything for us unfortunately but like I said this is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode but so if you guys enjoyed today's episode please give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're an enjoying the content please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series above all else i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and most of all thanks for watching